Welcome to David Lee's comic book review. Today we're going to be looking at Mephisto vs. the X-Men, a 1987 comic, which is part three of a four-part series. The title of this is The Devil You Say. Now, the artwork for this is, uh, is okay, pretty standard for the time. I wouldn't say exceptional. So we will give that just a five out of ten for the artwork. The review of the story... It starts off with uh, some demons tormenting Jean Grey, where uh, the twist is, uh, you know, Mephisto's angry, but he's not angry at her. He's angry at the demons for tormenting her because he wants to keep her pristine. And what ensues is really a funny joke about how people are protecting their comics, putting them in, you know, mylar. And it's a really tongue-in-cheek meta kind of thing about comic book collecting, but using Jean Grey as the medium there for Mephisto. Well, it turns out that Mephisto's realm is crumbling, and there's some kind of action going on uh, that is causing his realm to decay and him to suffer because of it. Uh, but then it kind of switches and drops that part of the storyline to dealing with uh, the X-Men. Now, uh, Reed Richards, who previously in issue four uh, dealt with Mephisto, realizes that Mephisto is looking for ultimately the soul of a god. And Aurora Storm uh, is a god, and so the X-Men are wrapped up into one of the possible uh, characters being taken by Mephisto because he's looking for that soul. Well, it comes over uh, the X-Men here and uh, we get a, a shot a foreshadowing of uh, rogue's powers uh, rogue at the time is still a little untrusted her and wolverine have some exchanges back and forth and so uh, rogue is very much the center of this storyline and what happens is when mephisto encounters rogue their exchange, uh, there's a kiss exchange, a couple of them, and Mephisto realizes that his powers are getting sucked away and, and Rogue is uh, somebody to be afraid of. Uh, Rogue goes around to the other X-Men to attempt to save them, and by saving them, she is taking their powers. Uh, so she she goes to all of them, has a combat or an exchange of some sort, steals their powers, and what we see is uh, Mephisto has duped her all along, where she was doing this because he wanted her to do this, and ultimately uh, he was never afraid of her. So the result of all of this is that Rogue gets all of the X-Men captured, and Mephisto now has multiple souls to deal with. Right, on the very last page, you see uh, Longshot in there in his hand, but Mephisto had previously said that he wasn't worthy, uh, so, but Mephisto lies, so whatever. We don't see Psylocke. I don't know why. But that kind of wraps up Mephisto getting all the X-Men at the end, and we shall see where it goes from from there. Overall, I think the story is okay. I, I'm kind of uh, left wondering why Rogue's power worked in this way. I think that's a little suspect. Do a little suspension of disbelief. I guess that's okay. So I'm going to review the, the story and, and give it a an okay rating. It, it's fine, but there are some plot holes, some questions about why things are working. Uh, but we'll see how that wraps up in issue number four. As far as collectability goes, uh, it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility that this comic could shoot up in price. If Mephisto and the X-Men have a storyline together at some point in the MCU, you could see this issue really skyrocket. Uh, right now, it's very easy to get for cover price. So if you think that that's going to happen in the future, I'd say five, six years from now, maybe, then this would be a comic to collect. Uh, other than that, it'd probably stay cover price. There's no firsts in here. 
So um, collect as you wish. And as always, have a good day. Thank you for listening.